The citadel is enclosed in a 1700 metre long wall which can be traced back to the Bronze Age. It sits on the Jebel al Khalas hill overlooking the old city. As we walk up the hill the first structure we see is the remains of a Byzantine church dating from around the 3rd century. The hill is one of seven which comprised the ancient city. The citadel was originally the capital of the Kingdom of Ammon, sometime after 1200 BC. On our right we pass a large cistern used for the storage of water for the baths, latrines and other areas of the palace. It is 17.5 metres in diameter and 5 metres deep. On our left are the remains of an Umayyad bathhouse. The palace complex was probably built during the reign of Umayyad Caliph Hisham between 724 and 743 AD. In front of us now is the reconstructed eastern gate of the Umayyad Mosque. It sits on a different alignment to the palace so that it faces Mecca. Next to the mosque is the kiosk or monumental gateway. It is a well-preserved and decorated audience hall. At 24 by 26 metres it has a cruciform plan. This is because it was built on the foundation of an earlier Byzantine church. It served as the entrance to the Umayyad palace complex. It was built by Abdul Malik ibn Marwan to be used as a reception hall where he could meet his expeditions and army leaders. Exiting the gateway leads us into the main palace complex. Walking down this colonnaded street, in front of us we see the wall of a previous Roman temple. The palace was built on top of and utilised much of the stone from these previous Roman buildings. The palace consists of nine independent buildings. At the centre of the main palace is an audience hall and throne chamber. In 749 AD a strong earthquake destroyed many of these buildings. Around a year later the Abbasids overthrew the Umayyad rule and renovated and divided the residential units into smaller rooms using cruder construction of the walls than the previous ones. We've now walked around to the Temple of Hercules which is the most famous of the structures in the citadel. It is a Roman structure and according to an inscription found it was built when Germinius Marcianus was the governor of the province of Arabia from AD 162 to 166, in the same period as the Roman theatre we shall see shortly. Behind the temple itself you can see various stone fragments, the best of which is the hand from a large statue of Hercules. At the front of the temple are the remains of two complete pillars along with the ruins of four other pillars. The two complete pillars are 30 feet high. We now made our way down from the citadel to the Roman theatre. It is a 6,000 seat structure built for the Roman city which at the time was called Philadelphia. A Greek inscription on one of the pillars indicates that this theatre was built in the honour of Emperor Antonius Pius. It is built into the hillside and was orientated north to keep the sun off of the spectators. Next to the main theatre we find the Odeon. It is a smaller 500 seat theatre and likely to have had a temporary wooden roof that shielded the audience from the weather. Both the Odeon and larger theatre are still used today to host cultural events. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tour, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss our next video. Bye for now.